Hi Capricorn, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Um, if you're new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be notified. Uh, when I go live, as I go live twice a week uh, in English and on Wednesdays, I go live in Dutch. Monday and Fridays, English nights and Wednesday, Dutch. And there's also new vlogs, a new series that I've just started working together with Wendy the Witch. And I also do collaborations with Crystal V. So please join us, um, join me uh, when I go live. And then you can get free cards or you can do a super chat or a super sticker. And I will answer your question with three oracle cards or tarot cards. Um, and uh, uh, with no, just three cards, tarot or lenamon, and with one oracle card. If you would like to have an extended reading, then please click on this white bu uh, button here in the screen. And that will take you to my website and there you can see all the different readings on offer. Okay, and welcome back to my Cyber Angels. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, without you, it wouldn't be what it is. It is phenomenal and fantastic. I'm using the Enchanted uh, a dream tarot and uh, I've got a surprise coming up as well about that. I'm interviewing the author of the deck and the book so I hope it's going to be fantastic. I'm looking really forward to that and if you want to know what else is uh, happening in the next couple of weeks then have a look in the update and news video. I'm also using the um, angel feather deck and the Archangel Michael deck this week. Okay, let's get started. This is for Monday, and as you can see, I'm only using this deck um, and also as clarification cards. We're going to start off with Monday, and you've got the Eight of Wands. Well, that, that means that you can be expecting news. This will be through cyber, email, text message, or telephone. Also, you might be traveling. And this is definitely highlighted that you will be traveling because to clarify that, you have the sun. You might be moving home or going on holiday. Um, or you might be just traveling a short, a short distance with regards to work, for example, or to see somebody else. But there is travel, uh, definitely. You are also standing in the spotlight and something is being illuminated as you have the card, the sun. The sun, of course, is also warmth and we've got the lion here. So I think there might be um, a lion, Leo, in other words, having an eye on you or your, uh, his eye or her eye has fallen upon you, Capricorn. This is um, a fire sign. And so it could be, I won't exclude any other signs out, of course, but it is a fire sign. So they are full of passion, energy, action, creativity, and quite logic. You might be hearing of a birth. This could be of a child, or this could be of a project or a job. There might be um, a, a promotion. There might be a next level up in a relationship that is also a new beginning on wednesday we have the nine of wands and the nine of wands um, means that you've been through tough tough times and there is an end in sight here she's resting out and she's look just looking downwards because she is distraught and she doesn't know what to do but look at the beautiful butterfly and the moon cycles perhaps you 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 are more sensitive at the moment because we've just gone into the fire signs okay so an end to a phase and a new beginning she's just taking a rest and thinking about it this is also a transformational period as you are going into a new beginning. And here she's 
thinking, what am I going to do? If you've lost your job, let me put it that way. What are you going to do now? Which job are you going to go for? What is it that you would like to do? To clarify this card, we've got the Emperor. And in this deck, we only see women. We don't see men. This deck also um, highlights the femininity within each of us and the woman in, uh, in general. As a woman is nurturing, caring, loving and passionate, sexy and sensual. So perhaps you might not feel that after such a heavy period and you need some advice. This could be of an, a mature man, um, but um, it could also be a professional. This could be your father or a professional. Perhaps you might not feel very well. You might be stressed out or close to a burnout. Who knows? God goodness for, uh, forbid. But then you need to see a doctor. If you're not feeling very pretty and you want your hair done, then you have to see a hairdresser. Things like that. It could also be with regard to the news that you are receiving or perhaps the love of offer or oh, this new beginning. Perhaps you might find out you're pregnant um, and then you need to see a doctor as well. Uh, if that's not the case because you are a mature woman and you can't have any more children, then it could be that you are hearing that you're going to become a grandmother or a grandfather. I love these cards and I think they're absolutely amazing. amazing. I like the way it is um, that it highlights the woman, the fem feminine and the female without being a feminist. And that just goes to show that women can speak their minds and be beautiful without being a feminist. But they also, what this deck also means to me to be a, a feminine and a female is to be treated like one, but also as an equal. For every occasion, we have to wake up, whether we're man or women, but we have to wake up every occasion. You have to be treated differently. If you go out with each other, then it is if you're going out with a man that he treats you with nurturing, caring attitude and energy, like a woman, a mother does, okay? That is so, so romantic, and it will sweep the woman off her foot, feet. And when we are with a man, that we are genuinely a lady, okay? We don't have to be Princess Diana, we can't all be princesses, but we are in our own right. Now we've got the Queen of Wands here, and that is on Friday. So whether you're a woman or a man, you might be meeting the Queen of Wands. And if you are a female, uh, well, if you're a man, you could be meeting a woman, or you could be meeting a man with a caring side. And the same goes for if you're a woman, you could be meeting an other woman, but with also a uh, um, a, a female side, but a determined and strong and very, very logical can also be a very dominating person because she knows what she wants and no wild horses will drag her away from her ideas. She knows what she wants and she goes for it. She takes action. So you might meet a very strong, determined person on Friday. You've got the Ten of Wands and you can see in nearly all the decks you have something like the, the, the moon. The moon is here in the back and here again. You can't see it very clearly but you can see the shape very vaguely. And here you've got the sun and the moon made into one. You've got the Ten of Swords. You might feel that you've been stabbed in the back by somebody. This could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or a Libra, a Capricorn. But this friendship has come to an end, okay? Because a Ten 
is an ending and a new beginning. So it could be that you're finishing with a fire sign, but it could also mean that you are more determined not to be stabbed in your back again by anybody. Okay? And that is the determination of the Queen of Wands. So there is a new beginning. So there could be a friendship, but it could also be that you finished a friendship with a fire sign. But there is a new beginning. You've learned and your wounds have healed. That is the heavy time. And you're taking a rest because a nine is an end and a ten is an end and a new beginning like the nine. But you've learned, you have progressed to ten, from nine to ten. The truth has come out because the swords means um, justice, clarity, honesty, honesty, communication and wisdom. So you've progressed in your wisdom and knowledge. You've also have progressed into communicating much better and knowing what you want. You are able to tell people what your boundaries are and not to cross over those boundaries. At the weekend you have the card, the Temperance, and the Temperance card also means um, keeping balance, being in balance. So at the weekend you are definitely in balance after this issue on uh, Friday. The card Temperance also means Sagittarius, so that, that this represents Sagittarius and the Queen of Wands, she represents Leo, okay, as well. And we've got the Leo card as well here, that is um, uh, the, the Sun. So, uh, because we've got the lion here, and I always associate the sun with um, Leo. <clears throat> now, there was another one. Oh yes, the emperor, the emperor, this card is also such a beautiful card. I love these horns or feathers. Um, and um, the emperor is also a fire sign. That is an Aries. So what is dominating in this reading is that you definitely have um, fire within perhaps yourself or you have to deal with all the fire signs. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, these two are Sagittarius. Okay. Oh, sorry, uh, the, the Queen of Wands is Leo. I'm, I'm mixing them up now. So you've got definitely two cards with a Leo, Aries and a Sagittarius. That is at the weekend for Saturday and Sunday. And you've also got the Three of Coins. That means that you are getting recognition for your hard work. You might have passed your exams or uh, something or other, and that's why uh, you are getting recognition. You're no longer the apprentice. Perhaps you might be getting recognition from a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius. And uh, definitely, I think you might even be um, fiery within yourself at the moment that you're very active because you, like I said, you've gained the wisdom, you've gained clarity, the truth has come out. Something, the truth, something has come out which is making you fiery and into coming into action with this, all these new be beginnings. Boom, that could be the news that you finally got the job or the house because you could be moving. Awesome. Now, the all over energy is the eight ace of swords. So that means victory, first of all and foremost. Victory is yours. Wow, wow, wow. Um, the ace of swords stands, perhaps you might have 
want a judicial situation or court case or anything like that. You might have uh, got a tax return or you might start a new study because the SWORDS stands for wisdom, communication, knowledge, uh, again, clarity, okay, and the truth. Perhaps you might start working or studying for, to become a social worker or to become a judge, a lawyer, or anything that cuts knives, that cuts like scissors, because swords cut. You might even become a hairdresser, a butcher, a surgeon. Who knows? Something with justice or something that cuts. Those are the occupations that are associated with the swords or a presenter or a teacher because of the communication and the wisdom that you share with others. Now the um, angel feather card is the emerald angel, uh, emerald green angel feather card, restored health and healing. The healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health. They sent healing rays of green light and will assist you or a loved one to heal physical or mental conditions. So health is restored and healing. Now the green angel feather, you can eat greens, salad, uh, spinach, anything to enhance your balance, okay? and to improve your balance, less stress, more energy, because of greens contain iron, perhaps you might need a little bit more iron strength, but you are standing in your strength, my darling. So don't worry, because you've got the Queen of Wands, and she also stands for Leo. Um, and Leo also represents the strength card, but it's not here, but the Queen of Wands is also related to the um, Leo um, sign. Okay, um, the green is also the heart chakra, and that is Archangel, I sometimes forget, so I'll look that up. And I've got my little Bible here, the, uh, the angel feathers, and that is Archangel Raphael. There you go. That's the angelic chakras I'm always on about. Okay, now then we have a card from the Archangel Michael deck from the same author, uh, not of the tarot cards. This is Yasmin Westwood. And these are Michelle Newton. And we have leadership. Show the way. Archangel Michael calls upon you to take leadership role. Your love and light will show others the way forward. What did I say? You've got light. You're in the spotlight. So something is also being illuminated here. And this could be... The, uh, the judicial situation or the new application or the new study but you need more information if you're going to start something but victory will be yours and I also said to you teaching or presenting well that is what Archangel is more or less saying show the way take the lead show what you know pass on your knowledge awesome how readings and different decks come together. I hope you've enjoyed your uh, weekly video and the romance videos will be out as well this week, later this week. And remember that this uh, reading is for the uh, 30th to the 5th of April. So we are in the Aries, Aries um sign so that's also a fiery sign so the fire sign is very important action creativity uh, knowing what you want and know your boundaries let others know your boundaries 
make sure you know yours. Get it clear what your boundaries are and don't let this happen to you anymore. Don't let anybody stab you in your back. Stand in your strength. Okay, now I'm just doing something uh, extra. I'm going to take a card from the reading and I think I'm going to take uh, a major arcana card and I think I'll take the sun. I'm just going to go into depth a little bit more um, from the book of Yesmin and the key words to the sun are love, celebration, creativity, health, happiness, joy, balance. And here you are, you've got balance. Okay, health issues, health issues, um, fatality, success, health. Okay, then we've got success as we've got the swords, the ace of swords, victory, attainment, glory, contentment, fame and future. The question, uh, what I would like to ask you is... Um, what am I grateful for today that I can celebrate? What can you be grateful for today or this week and how can I celebrate or that I can celebrate? So the task at hand in these difficult times is what you can do is Today, choose to approach the day filled with joy, no matter what happens. Smile at everyone you meet and notice what happens. So don't let this happen. Smile. Stand above it. Okay? So that is your task. Even if you're feeling down, try to smile and see what happens next week if you like to take that task. So remember, affirmation for uh, the question for the whole week is, what am I grateful for today that I can celebrate? And choose to have an approach every day filled with joy. No matter what happens, smile and at everyone you meet. And notice what happens. Ooh, that's eerie, but let me know what happens with you in the reactions below. And please give us the thumbs up and share this video with family and friends. And I hope to see you in the life. Take care and be blessed.